Hey everyone, so today I am doing a tutorial for you guys on how to make your lips look bigger and poutier. Um, I know not everyone likes that look, but for those of you who do, this will be perfect for you. I'm going to show you like a few different techniques just on how to make your lips look poutier and bigger and more juicy and stuff. <laughs> I know my lips at the moment look quite extreme, but you don't have to use every single tip I show you. Um, I just showed you all of them on my lips, but you can definitely just do like one or two and it'll work out amazing. So if you want to see how to get big lips or emphasize your natural lips, then stay tuned. So first of all, you want to exfoliate your lips and exfoliating your lips will get all the gunk off, it'll get all the dry skin off and also it kind of irritates your lips a little bit, not in a bad way, like not in a um, sore kind of way but it'll irritate them so that they kind of get a little bit bigger. I love this one here it's called bubblegum lip scrub by Lush. Basically you can just take your lip exfoliator or like an old toothbrush or anything put it on and scrub away. Once you have exfoliated your lips you have a really good base to begin. This is like the main product that I love to use when I want big lips. I, re I discovered it really recently. It is called the Too Faced Color Bomb and it looks like this. I got mine off Beauty Bay and I'm just in love with it. This one does kind of hurt a little bit. Not a lot, like it's not unbearable, but you know, just keep it in mind if you're very sensitive to that kind of thing. This one here is in the color Never Enough Nude and I like this one because it means I can put this one on first, wear it alone because I love nudes or I can put like a pink on top or like a darker color on top, bright color on top, and it's not gonna like change anything, you know what I mean? And I can still have that really plumped look. Now it takes a few seconds to kick in, so just wait a couple minutes until your lips feel bigger. So this is what they look like now. With a nude lip, the thing you can do is just slightly overline your lip line and it'll give you a more pouty look. Don't go too far, otherwise you'll look a bit weird. But if you just do it ever so slightly, just slightly overline, you'll get the appearance of fuller lips. If you're not using this exact lip product, another really good thing to use to get a fuller effect is a lip liner that's this kind of color, like a dark nude or a brown color. I know MAC does heaps. This one here is by Chi Chi and it's called Totally Nude and it's just like a darker nude. So that works really, really well as well. And I'm just going to put a little bit of this on just to show you. And already between that and the plumper, my lips look big. Like it almost looks like I've, like I've had injections or something. So... Yeah. And you obviously do not have to use every single one of these tips at once. You can just use like one or two just to see like, you know, what you like. All of them will make a difference. Like even if you just use one of these tips, it will make a difference. The other tip I have for you is take your bronzer. This one here is Hoola. And then just take a little tiny bit on a little brush and just put this right underneath like the most outer part of your bottom lip. And what that'll do is just add a bit more shadow and make it look look like your lips are more pouty. That was a tongue twister. Yeah. Next thing is to highlight. You can highlight in two ways. You can highlight your cupid's bow to do the exact same effect as this does to the top lip. It'll bring it up and like make it look more pouty. So I'm using a little bit of my Mary Luminizer by The Balm just on my finger. I'm just going to apply that right to my cupid's bow. So you can see that just made them look even peltier. The last step is to take a colour paler than what you're using. Since I'm using a nude lipstick, I'm going to go with a lighter nude lipstick. You can also use like a concealer or anything just to lighten the colour. This one here is called Pretty Pretty by MAC and it's a really pale nude. Looks like that. And then all I'm going to do is just put this in the very centre of my lips to bring the attention to the centre. It'll make my lips look fuller and rounder. So that's what it looks like. This is with everything. Remember, if you only do one or two of them, they won't look this intense. But with all of them, if you really want to go all out, you get this. I do really enjoy these. I do want to get more colours. If they have any other colours I think I'll use, 
I just love the colour and I think it makes my lips look really nice and full. Even Hamish did say he thinks this, that this makes my lips look a lot bigger. Um, and I don't have tiny lips to begin with. These tips will still work for you if you have like really thin lips. Maybe just don't do too many of them otherwise I might look OTT but definitely give it a go. Another tip that I was going to show you but I don't want to do too much is you can go around the outside with a really pale lip liner like a nude lip liner or even like a concealer and really crisp up the edges and it also highlights the area and makes your lips stand out. If you have any other tips to make your lips look even bigger then feel free to leave them down below and share them with the rest of us. That's all from me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you do want to see this eye tutorial it's already up on my channel. I'll link it down below. Have a really amazing day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye! Um, look I guess on the lower portion of the eye and then I'm gonna actually just bring this up into the outer V so just on the very edge of your eye in that little V area I guess.